Check it out, it just arrived here at the Snowy headquarters. The all new flagship sedan from Volkswagen. This is the Arteon. It's a mid-size sedan, or in this case, a four-door hatchback with this beautiful sport back profile and it just arrives today. We're gonna take a quick walk around and learn all about it. And when I say learn all about it, as much as I can learn in my first impressions walk around. So let's get started. Now I say it just arrived, it did, but I also just took it out for a quick errand because I want to give you some kind of driving impressions so far. And what stands out to me, it doesn't say Volkswagen. It says something else. I'm not sure what it is, but Volkswagen's name doesn't get in my head when I'm driving this car. It's, it's beyond, it's better than what I would expect or the reputation associated with driving a Volkswagen. So that's a good thing. Now here under the hood, we have a two liter four cylinder made to an eight speed automatic transmission. There are three trim levels, SE, SEL, and also SEL Premium. Ours is the two liter R-Line. It's also an SEL, but it's an R-Line, which makes it a little faster, a little better. I'm not quite sure. So it gets 268 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. Front wheel drive is standard, but we have this four motion all wheel drive, which is optional and standard on the highest trim level. So we have that also standard adaptive suspension. This is a very smooth driving vehicle. Again, I don't think Volkswagen when I drive it. Check out how the LED headlights flow seamlessly into the grill. It's all one piece. That's an interesting look, isn't it? A lot of lines though. I don't know if that's a, too busy. Does it look Volkswagen to you? As Hershey rubs in the snow, uh, a couple of the vehicles that compete with this midsize sedan, I know, four-door hatchback, Mazda 6, Nissan Maxima, Acura TLX, Kia Stinger, also the Volvo S60, so in good competition. Keyless entry option here. So press your thumb or whatever finger you want, I guess. Press it there, that's gonna close up. Now you know the vehicle is locked. Look how it twists up, kind of interesting, right? Now hand in the handle, unlocks, and we're good to go inside. Pretty impressive cockpit cabin of this Arteon. Graphics are really nice. They have an eight inch touchscreen, which is standard. I think this is a little bit larger. They're still sticking with an analog clock on top. Uh, but this is, this is cool. I, when I was shooting some video earlier, I was kind of exploring uh, some of the options on this screen. Check it out. You can look here and look at these. There's a sport timer. So if you want to, I guess, do some laps, maybe, I mean, I would go zero to 60 if I could, but considering the, the weather, not gonna happen, unfortunately, even with all the power this vehicle has. So there's that. Uh, energy consumers, showing you what is consuming in the vehicle, like right now climate control is on. And this is really neat to look at this stuff, driving data. So I've only driven just uh, nine miles because I went to the store and back. I've got Think Blue Trainer. I'm not quite sure what this is. I looked at it briefly and it's educational in terms of fuel saving tips they have here. So I, was, I just scrolled through it, but let's go ahead and press one of them, see what this means here. Savings easy, take it easy. So they're just giving you a little information here on how to drive smarter. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Radio, these are cool with the, uh, the graphics for the radio dial. It's also navigation, obviously. Climate controls here, heated seat. No ventilated seat though. Dual climate control, AC. There is a drive mode. I'm gonna press this mode button here and check out the screen. We've got a custom Eco with a color scheme associated with it, comfort. I've been driving in normal. There's no point to drive in sport under these conditions, but there's some things that I can play with there. The auto start stop, so you can make the car stop at an intersection and save on fuel. A USB port here, I noticed, and there's also one inside here. No wireless charging pad. I was surprised that there wasn't one there. Instrument cluster is beautiful. Here, you can change some views of what you want to see and arrow down and so on. This changes the radio, I believe, here. Cruise control, they got a, a, an adaptive cruise control. There's a volume for the radio. Inside the door panel is a trunk release in addition to the one that's on the key fob. Soft touch material on the dash. I wish there was a heads-up display, but there isn't. Even though, hey, Hershey, what's going on? There's no heads-up display. 
A couple of things missing. There's no USB ports in the back. So let me show you what the uh, backseat legroom and headroom is uh, before we move on. I love doing these backseat headroom and legroom first impression demos because you get to see me do it in real time. Now, I've already sat in the back because I had to do some videotaping of it. Um, this is really impressive. Mid-size sedan, kicking the snow off. Look at that space. I told you I went to the grocery store, got some food for Hershey. Look at that space between my knees and the back of the seat. So much room. This cabin is huge in here. We also have the sunroof, which makes it a little bit bigger, even though it doesn't come all the way back. Uh, headroom, even with the sloping sport back, uh, it's not that bad. I mean, you might think so just from the outside, but it's pretty good. And I'm 5'11", so my headroom is comfortable. I do have a fold-down armrest that I saw earlier. Uh, three different sizes here, too, of cups. And this leans forward, I guess. Yeah, there's your, your pass-through. So if you want to go some skiing with this four-motion all-wheel drive, then I guess you can utilize the pass-through. Here's an interesting fun fact. I was in Korea in February of 2019, and this vehicle just so happened to be outside a Volkswagen dealership on the street. And I remember going by it and taking some photos and sharing it on Instagram. And I go, what is that art? I didn't know how to pronounce it because it, I don't know, it just came out. This is February of last year, Arteon. Anyways, I made some notes here on what it looks like on the outside. I, I call it like a, it has a muscular frame um, and shoulders with a clamshell hood and a wide stance, which really helped out with the feel on the road. Now that clamshell, stand, that clamshell hood, when you look at it, maybe you'll agree. Does that look like a clamshell to you? I don't know, also the, the, the silhouette or the profile, what else does it remind you of? It's a little different, isn't it, with the, uh, the fastback profile? It doesn't really say, I mean, it goes beyond Volkswagen. Oh, it looks pretty cool, huh? With this hatchback and fastback styling, cargo space is incredible. Uh, here's how you open it, by the way. There's a key, there's a button on the key fob to unlock it, but once you do unlock it, press your hand in here, boom, lift up, and there we go. 27 cubic feet of volume right here. Uh, it's also a, just want to double check there, a 60-40 backseat fold-down split. So if you want to use just one side or the other side, you have that option. We also have this uh, protector here. You can take that off. But what a huge compartment for storage. Pretty impressive, in my opinion. And um, I can see you're really uh, loading up with golf clubs, camping equipment, luggage, and so on. Pretty spacious. So fuel economy on the Arteon is 20 city, 27 highway. Again, we have the four motion all wheel drive, which is standard on this one. Uh, miles per gallon will be a little bit different on the front wheel drive. Price point between 36 and 47. We have a $45,000 base price on this R line. So it's gonna be ranging between 36 and 47. Stay tuned, I'm gonna drive it all week, put together a full detailed drive and review. That way you get a better idea, as do I, of what this uh, Arteon is all about. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon, adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.